Hi, beautiful. Thanks for joining me today. Now, since last week I tortured myself watching Relaxer Fails, like I don't think I've ever had to leave the room so many times in one video. It was torturous. It was horrifying. I hope all those girls are okay. Today we're doing something a little more fun, which is watching people color their hair shades of the rainbow. All types of different, glorious, beautiful, saturated colors. And the best part of all is that they'll be using my hair color line. I cannot wait to see what people create. So let's watch some videos. Up first, we have a video by Hannah Bell. It's 8 p.m. on a Tuesday night, the best time in my opinion to completely change your hair entirely. I'm still gonna keep it pretty similar to what it is right now, but I'm going to be dyeing like some color block in my hair. Right now I have some purple in it, some pink in it, some blonde in it. I haven't dyed it in about a month, I would say maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, there's definitely a lot going on there, Anna. A lot of different colors, a lot of fading. Some purple, some blonde, some brown. I don't know. Let's get it together. Make it more cohesive today, huh? I hope that's what we're doing. The bottom's a little bit darker still with the purple. I had super purple before for the last time that I dyed it. I'm going to be using turquoise from Ex Mondo Color. I'm very excited about this. Yes! Oh, I love turquoise. I love blue, I love green. They of sex, they create turquoise. So that's just like sexy to me. Like, you know, blue and green are just like, eh, we love each other so much. We're gonna create a love child called turquoise. That's a good baby's name. Turquoise Mondo. No, I actually have a different name for my potential kid in the future. It's way cooler than that, but I will never share it because nobody is to steal the name. Except I don't think anybody's gonna want the name. It's fucking weird. Okay, let's go from baby names back to the video we were watching. All right, great. Okay. I am going to be bleaching my roots in some areas that I'm doing like the color block. I'm doing a little streak right here and then some underneath as well. So, and then the rest of like this brown stuff, I'm gonna leave and tone darker so we can have like a nice little turquoise dark brown moment. Oh, I love that concept so much, so much. I don't think I've ever loved anything more. I hope she has a very cool brown though, because otherwise turquoise and like a warm brown looks a little bit ugly, but maybe she'll make it work. I don't know, we'll see. She's also gonna have to bleach her bangs again. The bottom half is light enough for turquoise, but the top is not. The lighter you want the end result to be, the lighter you have to lighten your hair. I hope that was obvious. I don't even know why I said that. Do you understand what I meant by that? For bleach, I'm using my Pravana Pure Light Ultra Lightener and she's using 30 volume. Slay, that sounds like a plan. 30 volume and lightener, let's do it. She is attacking those roots and doing a great job. She has so much regrowth that she needs to actually go and do that sort of band first, and then she can go back and do her roots second because the heat from the scalp is gonna make the hair process faster. You don't wanna apply it on the scalp right away. She's applying to the scalp right away. All right, never mind. <laughs> I hope I'm not confusing you with that because typically on a retouch, you would, you know, do the roots first. That's all that there is. But she has so much regrowth that you're gonna need to hit the sort of middle part first and then you can do the roots after. I don't know, this stuff is so hard to explain sometimes. You know what, I'm leaving it there. I'm not even gonna try today. I don't feel like it. Luckily, she's doing a fashion color. So if this isn't completely even, it's gonna be fine. Fashion colors are usually pretty forgiving unless you're doing a very light, color like yellow or orange or something like that. It's a little bit more difficult. All right, now we're bleach bathing the ends. I think that's a great idea to get that color out. Um, or, you know, I love my Malibu treatment, CPR. I love my Guy Tang color remover. Those two also work very well. And the roots are looking good. Wait a damn minute. Sometimes y'all do things that aren't right, but it works. <laughs> decent palette to start with. In this case, if we're doing turquoise, I might have toned her hair to a nice icy blonde before applying the turquoise. That way you get a really pure turquoise result. Because if it goes over yellow and it's turquoise, it might be a little more gray than, than, than blue. <laughs> Yeah, she applied that first little, that's my favorite part, you know what it is. And it's going on like a dream. It looks so good. It looks so pretty on her already. She has that pink undertone in her skin so that these cool colors just pop. 
it's looking great. Now let's tone the back. She's using 5NA. Thank God. That is a super, super cool brown color. NA's in Red Can Shades EQ is like gray. Shades EQ, you're actually supposed to apply to dry hair. You can do either one, but it does dilute the formula if you apply it to wet hair or damp hair. I would recommend applying it to dry hair next time if you want the results to last longer and be more pigmented and more rich in tone. Look at that color. That is actually insane. Like, holy cow. This is like no other color that I've ever had before. This is the complete finished result and I'm actually obsessed with it. I've never had this shade of blue. <sighs> The haircut with the blow dry, with the turquoise, with the 5NA in the back. Oof! The combination is epic. It's perfection. Her hair looks so shiny and healthy too. Whoo! She pulled that together. X Mondo never steers me wrong. Like, look at how cute this is. I straightened it. I really want to see how it looks curly too, but I love just like the tone of it. It's such a pretty blue turquoise and I already got so many compliments on it. I love the accent of the blue underneath too. Like just spectacular. I absolutely am so obsessed with this color. I love X Mondo color. I love their products, their hair care, literally everything about them is just absolutely amazing. So I couldn't speak more highly of this hair color and just X Mondo as a brand. They are doing amazing things in this world and I'm completely obsessed with this color. I think I'm gonna rock it for a while. I really think so. I really like it. Oh, I love you. I did not pay her to say that. I love you. Shocked with how like even this came out. I'm gonna be honest because I had so much regrowth that I literally had no idea if the bleach would come out even or if the blue itself would come out even. I gotta admit, I feel like I did a pretty dang good job. It's pretty even. I'm obsessed. I love this look. I'm shocked at how even it is too. <laughs> you got real lucky. It looks so good. Amazing job. Up next, we have a video by Kaya Jaden. I'm going to be dyeing my hair. I'm going to be using some X Mondo hair color today. I've got Rudy Light and I also got Garnet. And she's using the new Jewel Tone colors. Yeah! God, they're so pretty. Rodolite's my favorite one of all. I don't think I'm saying that right. Rodolite, Rodolite, Radolite. How else do you say it? Radolite, Ridolite, Rodolite. Somebody correct me below. I don't know how to say that. It's my own product. I named it and I don't know how to say it. That makes a lot of sense. I'm going to do garnet roots over here with rhodiolite everywhere else. And then I'm going to switch it up in this little tiny section. And I'm just going to do rhodiolite roots and garnet here. Oh my god, this is going to be the most magical, glorious, beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I can already tell. She does, however, have an interesting base that she's working on. Because her roots, about two inches of her roots are yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow, 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 yellow. Yellow, 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 yellow. And then the rest of her hair is a nice pale blonde. So when she puts that garnet, which is a very deep, glorious purple, it's going to mix with the yellow and um, yellow and purple cancel each other out. It's gonna mute the purple a little bit. It should be fine. These jewel tone colors I came out with are very fine pigmented. So it should be able to cover a lot. So this is garnet. So I'm gonna take this brush, put it right here. I'm gonna have garnet roots. Bam. I love the idea of having the deeper purple roots and having the extremely bright pink ends. The only thing I'm a little worried about is she said she's gonna do the opposite in one of the sections. So Rodolite roots with the garnet ends. I don't know. The colors are not the same for sure, but when you put purple next to pink, sometimes they blend together and you don't really notice the difference that much. So we'll see what happens. Beautiful, beautiful pink. Oh, wow. Oh, wow is right. It is bright. That first time you lay Rotolite on the hair, it is sparkly, gorgeousness, cool, cool pink. I'm really excited about this, but I'm not excited about the fact that I have bangs. They're really hard to deal with. As she works on this, I kind of wish she did her bangs like all the Rotolite color and then the back all the Garnet color. Like I just feel like that would be so interesting and fun for her. And I like her bangs and I want to make them like kind of an accent around her face. Do you guys feel me on that one? Are we on the same page or what? I'm glad she's taking very thin sections, going on one side with the color and then the other side. And she's applying a lot of color. That is so important when you're using any kind of color, really. But especially when it's my color, 
I can speak on behalf of my color. Use a good amount of it. That's not me trying to make you buy more, I swear. Like you really need to saturate the hair. When it's a very conditioning color, the more saturation, the better color payoff. So we want it vibrant, so you need to put a lot. Wouldn't it be kind of fun if she just left the roots pink too and then didn't do anything to the rest of her hair? Like just had blonde ends and the pink roots. Like that would be also a vibe. Are you ready for this? This is a garnet. All right, we're laying down the garnet. Let's see how she does. She's doing a pretty good job. Like look how thin her sections are and how saturated they are. That is so important. You go girl. You get an A plus 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 plus. She is working her way around the head, being precise, being thorough, everything I'd like to see. This day just can't get any better. Oh wait, you're here. So it just got better. She's killing it. And the colors are looking so saturated. Also, I'm so excited for the ends of her hair because I'm not gonna lie, they look a little dry. Usually hair is dry if you bleach it, right? Lightener doesn't really agree with hair. No matter what you do, it's it's still, it's a tricky situation. But since my color has Bond Builder, proteins, oils, shine inducing ingredients, this is gonna make her hair look and feel 10 times better. And that's always my goal. So I'm about to finish this section. This poor girl though, this is taking forever. <laughs> this video is only 25 minutes long and it's sped up. I can only imagine how long she actually took to do this. Like, <gasps> <sighs> I gave myself a haircut today and it took me like 30 minutes and I was like, oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Is it just me? Do people enjoy that? I know people enjoy getting their hair done, but do you enjoy doing it to yourself? If you do your hair yourself, let me know. Cause like, I can't be bothered. It's not therapeutic. It's not fun, but the outcome is fun. Like I love seeing what my hair looks like at the end and I just feel brand new and fresh. Like I do feel kind of fresh today. I feel like Cutting my hair makes my teeth look whiter. Is that crazy? Okay, yeah, crazy. We're just gonna work it in. In here, preferably I see a spot where I want it. I'm gonna massage it in there. Be careful massaging the color in too much because we still want that root to appear like it's a different color than the ends. If you're kind of distributing the Garnet color onto the Rotolite, the Garnet is going to overpower the Rotolite because it's darker and it's going to rub off and it's going to make the roots darker. So I really wanna see that big transition from that pink to the purple. Don't keep touching it, don't. No. All right, guys, now it's time to start the pink section. She's making progress. We're almost halfway done. We got this, girl. We can do it. This is gonna look so good. I just wanna see the result. I wanna see it now. Time to do the pink. Wow, this color is really pretty. I'm gonna try to speed run through this and I'll see you guys when I'm done with my banks. I am just gonna start using my hands. She's getting real crazy with it. Now it's time to start that. Even with the color in right now, it's just like so vibrant and so beautiful. <gasps> All right, guys, we have one section down and I'm supposed to be at work in eight minutes. Oh my goodness gracious. And now I'm going to wait 20 minutes and then I'm going to wash this out. All right, it's time to wash the hair. And now I get to finally see the finished results. I have been dying for this. I needed this today. Look at my hair, I look so freaking cute. This is the garnet and this is the rhodiolite and it's just like all beautiful. Brad, I approve your color. Oh my God. Pop the before and after. You look like a different person and your makeup looks incredible. Oh my God. Like, whoa, you look so good. Damn, I am obsessed. You killed it. I love the colors. It looks so good with your skin tone. Check, 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 check. Five stars, A plus. That's a win for me. I'm gonna take that one. Do we have time for one more? I don't wanna go yet. Not yet, monkey. We're not done yet. Shelly Goose. We're not done yet, monkey. Come here. Come on. Oh, 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 look at this long, lanky body. Look at this long, lanky body. 
Arrgh. Up next, we have a video by Camille. So this is what we're starting with. I had red hair that grew out and faded a bit and just bleached my roots in literally one round with the lowest developer I've ever used. But this is the perfect base for a bright pink. And you can see that from the roots to the red is a bit of an ombre already from me bleaching the roots. So that's gonna be helpful. But either way, you can use this method to create an ombre on any base that's light enough. Yeah. I get to see a curly hair video today. Yes, she has a magnificent curls. For bleaching her hair, her curls have really withstood the test of the bleach. I'm so surprised her curls are still so beautiful after doing so much lightening. I'm sectioning my hair in half and then the other half in half, so it's in workable sizes. And it doesn't matter which section you start with since it's a color depositing semi-permanent dye, so you don't have to stress about time. You don't have to stress about time. You can leave this product on for literally days. Wouldn't recommend it. But it's not gonna break your hair. It's gonna only make it feel Feel better, look better, and be actually better internally. So that's a great, that's a great plus. To make the ombre seamless, I'm mixing the pink and the red together for a color that's halfway in between. I always start with the light color and add small amounts of the darker color at a time because making a color look halfway doesn't mean putting equal parts of each color. Ooh, these are gonna be so fire on her head, literally fire, because her hair looks like a fire. <clears throat> I didn't need to explain that one. Once you have your halfway color, I recommend doing a strand test to double check that the color will show up the way that you want it to. The pink is a bit brighter than it looks inside the container and definitely warmer than the label, which looks more magenta slash purpler. So a big thing with the labeling, guys, with the labels on our, our products, the label color is created based off of what the end result looks like on a level 10 hair swatch. So that is how we create them. What it looks like in the jar is not what the end result looks like. But what's on the label is supposed to be more accurate to what you may get if you have a level 10 head of hair. Unfortunately, we can't make a label that shows everything, but um, yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. Next, I'm using my halfway shade to blend the middle section into a bit more of a red color to make the transition seamless, and it did exactly what it needed to do. And lastly, I'm using the reds on the ends, and it looks perfect, so I'm gonna move on to my whole head. Oh my god, are you actually doing this with no gloves on? <laughs> Girl, put gloves on now. There is a little ombre going on already, so I'm using that as the fourth transition zone and just putting the same pink on both parts so it ombres itself. But of course, that is optional and just a convenient perk of looking this crazy between colors. I think these colors look great on just one round of bleach without being toned because my hair is light enough for the color to pop and the untoned blonde is warm just like the dyes. Okay, I want you to apply more next time and use gloves and literally just take a bunch of it, put it on, since you're basically doing the same color all over. You don't have to be organized with it when you're using side permanent color like this, if you're doing one color over everything. Just make sure once it's all on there and globbed on, you take a comb a wide tooth comb and you get it all through there. Or even like a detangling brush, anything, all right? I, I actually love using huh, dirty ass brush on my table. Let's pretend it's clean, but like something like a detangling brush is great for putting inside permanent color. This is a very conditioning product, so it should glide right through your hair. My goal is always to do the fewest processes possible on my hair and in the least damaging way. So that's why I chose pink to red because I can utilize and refresh the red ends of my hair without a fading or bleaching process and add a similar color or one next to it on the color wheel. And now it's a whole new look that also keeps your hair as healthy as possible. Yes, we love a smart girl who knows how to use her color wheel. Color theory is the best. It's the most fun. It's my life. This is looking magical, dude. Like this looks so delicious and gorgeous. I am loving what's going on. I'm working my way through the sections and slicking them on top of themselves to keep them out of the way while I'm working. I don't know how she's managed to only get color on one of her hands. That is some talent. <laughs> how are you doing this? She's wearing a full face of makeup and she's got no color on her skin. I don't even care what the color is anymore. That's more impressive than what the color is about to do. I also like to slick it down with more dye to hold it in place and also make sure everywhere is completely saturated. Make sure you get all of the back and that your hairline is fully covered because that part not only frames your face, but is the first part to fade from washing your face, especially if you 
use acne face wash with benzoyl peroxide like me. Yeah, that's very true. You gotta glob it on the front because you don't want those baby hairs blonde. I hate that. I hate when people just miss the baby hairs. It's like, girl, the babies need some coverage too. They need protection. Next up is the transition shade and I'm placing that three quarters of the way down and blending it outwards towards the bottom and lightly blending it towards the pink roots without overpowering the color. I feather it downwards lightly so it's easier to blend into the red and prevents the red from overpowering the colors above or making it look blocky instead of a smooth transition. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's got a full on plan. She's smart. By the way, I love doing this with my fingers without gloves because I can really feel every detail, which makes it easier for me to be precise and for me to do this myself, especially because when I'm doing the back, I do it mostly by feel. Well, that's interesting. I mean, you can still feel through a glove, you know? It's just hair strands, but go off. If it works for you and you don't mind washing your hands vigorously, vigorously, more power to you. It's not gonna kill you. Once you're done, leave it in for 20 to 1,000 minutes and then rinse it out in cool water in the shower. Yeah, the results, it's result time. After it dried, this is what it looks like. Bright, fresh, Healthy and stunning. I'm obsessed. <laughs> if there is ever a day for Brad Mondo to notice me, this is the day and this is the video. Oh, oh my God. Dude, her hair was so healthy and so bouncy. It's so pink and red. Oh, wow. Oh, that was probably my favorite. I don't know. That was just magical. Like, oh, her curls are just like, so beautiful and zero frizz. How do you style your hair like that? It looks like perfection, but the color, everything, it's just beautiful. What? Yes. I loved that. That was so fun. Thank you guys for making those videos. And if you guys ever try my hair color or my hair products at home, record a video and post it so I can react to it and see it because it makes my entire life and it makes it all worth it. <sighs> I just love the confidence it brings over you guys when you try products, even if it's not mine. I love seeing a transformation. Every time I remember just how powerful a different look is. You know, like changing your look can change your entire outlook on life and bring out so much confidence. So that's why I love hair and that's why I love what I do and that's why I love creating hair products. If you wanna shop any x Mono colors or x Mono hair care products, they're all linked below or go to xmonohair.com. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.